At the moment, Kenya is battling its worst drought in 40 years, with climate change and global warming being blamed. To mitigate future occurrence, students from the Nairobi Primary School participated in potting of some 30,000 tree seeds that are to be planted in the coming months. This means a lot to me because um, it's not start something just that started this year. The generations that have left this school, since the school started, we've always been planting trees. And this is our moment to now like increase, do more than the others did. The others may have planted, let's say, two. They just planted it and left it, but they didn't take care of it. But us, who have, here, who have come here so that we can support these trees every single day. We make our time. If it's lunch time, the moment you get, like any free time you get, just come to check up on your trees. We want to encourage the youth, since the youth we are 75 percent in the in Kenya right now. If we don't react in tree planting, all our generation, the next coming generation, will suffer a lot. So today, what we want to do is our first ever release of our greenhouse our tree nursery. Um, at least every youth should grow at least 10 plants in a year or less than one plant in a month. But not just planting and leaving it alone, planting and raising it. So this is the only way, the only way we can continue with this is to only raise our nursery. During the launch of the tree nursery, Daniel Juma, CEO Global Peace Foundation, lauded the students for their effort to help in the rehabilitation of the environment, challenging them to take care of the trees up to maturity. The students are the future. They are the future. If we let, teach them today the importance of conservation, then they will leave it. Rather than telling them to do it, if we show them how to do it, they will enjoy doing it. And also one of the things that we are doing as Global Peace Foundation is promoting character. And tree planting is also part of character development. So as we teach them, you know, the importance of, uh, of uh, growing trees, the importance of taking care of the environment, the importance of, they will also learn the importance of taking care of life, the importance of taking care of themselves, you know, uh, the importance of um, ensuring uh, that the environment, the responsibility for taking care of the environment is it's their responsibility. So if you teach them early enough, you know, then they are able to grasp this. So even as they go uh, back to school on holiday, uh, from school on holidays, they can practice this at home with their parents. They can actually teach their parents, you know, how to be able to do this, how to be able to uh, to plant trees, you know, how to be able to grow trees. So I think uh, uh, this is very, very essential. This environmental uh, program that we are getting into is something that is a came to our uh, strategic plan that we had planned to have CSRs in terms of uh, tree growing and planting. And what excited us most is the fact that a lot of people go out there, plant trees and let them die. But on this particular project, the aim is to have this tree planted, nurtured, grown. We'll go along with coming up with the start corners whereby we'll have benches under trees for learners to uh, sit during their uh, free uh, study uh, period. And as a school, we are ready to give Manu Chandaria a corner and we blend it, Manu Chandaria, so that he can uh, do it so that our learners, our parents can be benefiting from the same. Global Peace Foundation, in partnership with Chandaria Foundation, aims at indulging the youth in promoting green social enterprise in mitigating climate change in support of attaining the 30% national forest cover by 2030. UNICAF has committed to own up and adopt the tree nursery, demonstrating environmental stewardship together with the students, parents and teachers. Approximately 30 days later, the difference is visible. We were here like a month ago when we launched um, the seedbed at Nairobi Primary and this project has been very instrumental to us. 
We are doing this in partnership with the Global Peace Foundation and the Manu Chandaria Foundation to ensure that a million trees are being planted. And uh, as you can see, the rains have just begun. We are in November, and it's pretty much exciting to see the seedlings that we had brought around have already, uh, you know, started picking up. And this initiative has been very, very instrumental in our in our organization. We have been able to launch the first 30,000 uh, seedlings and to Today, as you can see, we have done the adoption and we have our branding around here. And so UNICAF is going to be uh, adopting this seedbed going forward. And so we are calling upon our partners out there that uh, we should come together and try and uh, uh, act on the issue of climate change and try and get more and more trees being planted. And adopt, adopt, this adoption would be good if we do it in more schools. We cannot do it alone. And so UNICAF is joining the entire world to call on everyone to come on board and support this project. So we give much appreciation also to our CEO who has put in a lot of effort in this, Dr. Nicolau, who has put in a lot of effort in this, and we are happy that at the end of the day, the children of Nairobi Primary have somewhere that they can go to, the 4K Club members have somewhere they can go to and always uh, ensure that uh, they are learning right from childhood to ensure that trees are grown and we have uh, development in the school, and we are also very excited to just be here today and launch this seedbed uh, as part of this project that we are running. So we have seen a number of interesting uh, scenarios from the, from the school, from the pupils here in uh, Nairobi Primary. Most of them have actually adopted a number of the tree, even this, the seeds that we are planting here. A number of them have already learned the process of uh, setting up a nursery, beginning by the mixture of manure, the potting process, the sowing, and actually the element of now even weeding and ultimately seeing the tree grow towards uh, maturity. So we are really delighted and look forward towards how we can enhance this across the country. Now with a call from the president to support the, uh, the, the achievement of 30% uh, forest cover by the year 2032. So we want to actively involve our youth towards this process and that ultimately we can be able to achieve the goal because they are the big uh, numbers, they take a big chunk of our population today in Kenya. So I think it's uh, an opportunity that we want to use to accelerate the cause for mitigating climate change. The reason why I'm here is to show the country and to show everybody else that the youth are very serious in mitigating climate change. In Daysta University, we are looking at having this kind of project at Athi River, where we're going to be having more than 30,000 trees in partnership with the Manu Chandaria, UNICEF, and also the Global Peace Foundation. This is a great initiative that is going to help the environment and also in the environmental conservation. I want to reinforce the youth in actively supporting and fighting against the climate change which is affecting us globally. If we don't take part in this, we will succumb to severe conditions, etc., drought, which will lead to lack of food in the country. I also want to support the youth in achieving the government's goal, which is 30% forest cover by 2030. If we, do, we, if we do all this, we'll be very far as a country by 2032. This is to benchmark our forest cover within the Nairobi Primary School. And we would like to thank Global Peace Foundation, the Chandaria Foundation and UNICAF for encouraging us to be actively involved in environmental conservation. With the just concluded COP27 echoing the importance of conserving the environment, students from Nairobi Primary are doing it best calling for more children like them to plant trees. Marin Munyao, KTN Farmers TV.